In this video, I will explain what the coordinator is. In a tangled network, transactions are validated by selecting transactions many times by using the random walk Monte Carlo method. This is already explained in IOTA tutorial 1, but here is a short explanation how a transaction is validated. Using the random walk Monte Carlo method, select 100 new transactions, meaning tips. Calculate how many tips directly or indirectly will reach the transaction. If it is less than 50%, the transaction is not yet validated. If it is more than 50%, the transaction has a fair chance to be validated. If it is 99%, the transaction is considered validated, also known as confirmed. In its infancy stage, the Tangle network has a small number of nodes. An attacker can relatively easily create many nodes on the network and thus creating many malicious transactions. In this situation, if we were to use the random walk Monte Carlo method, there is a big chance that malicious transactions are selected. To protect the Tangle network against 34% attacks in its infancy stage, a temporary protection mechanism is used called the coordinator or COO for short. The coordinator is a special node run by the IOTA Foundation and this node is used to directly or indirectly validate the transactions. The coordinator location and source code are not publicly available. Using the coordinator does not mean that the network is centralized. The network is still 100% decentralized because every node on the network verifies that the coordinator is not breaking consensus rules by creating IOTAs out of thin air or approving double spendings. The coordinator will be shut down as soon as the network reaches a certain number of confirmed transactions per second. When this number is reached, many people are confirming transactions all the time. What this number is, is not known at the moment, and when it will be reached is also unknown, as no one knows how fast the IOTA adoption will be. The coordinator address is hard-coded into the IOTA reference implementation. The coordinator address is hard-coded in the IOTA Java file. You can find the source code in this URL. This is the coordinator address on the mainnet, and this is the coordinator address on the testnet. The coordinator creates approximately every minute a zero value transaction from this mainnet address. The transaction is signed and has no inputs. These coordinator created transactions are called milestones and each milestone has a unique index number, for example, 339,000. Here are the transaction bundles for three coordinator milestones, these three coordinator milestones. These milestones are created on the mainnet. Let's only look at milestones 339,000. This milestone is created on January the 30th, 2018. A milestone creates two transaction objects. This is the first transaction object, and this is the second transaction object. The first transaction object contains the coordinator address, as you can see over here. It has a value of zero, and the transaction is signed. To store the signature, another transaction object is required. This is the second transaction object. And this is the second part of the signature. These are milestones created by the coordinator. Let's assume that this is the latest milestone and this is the previous milestone. These milestones are created approximately every one minute. Every milestone is in fact a transaction. Each milestone is sequentially numbered. Every transaction, including milestones, verifies two other transactions. As you can see over here. Here and here. This is the first transaction object and this is the second transaction object. The first transaction object has current index 0 and the second transaction object has current index 1. The trunk transaction contains the hash of the second transaction object. This branch transaction and this trunk transaction refers to the hash of the previous milestone. This transaction references a subtangle of coordinator approved transactions. The same applies to this milestone. This milestone references a subtangle of coordinator approved transactions. 
milestone set the general direction for the Tangle growth. The latest milestone can be found in the Discord app. This is a screenshot of the Discord app, and this is the bot box channel, and here you can find the latest milestone. Or you can find the latest milestone at this website. Transactions are considered confirmed if it is directly or indirectly referenced by a milestone. Milestones cannot be faked because they are signed by the coordinator. When the IOTA Lite wallet is started, the latest solid subtangle milestone and the latest milestone appears in the status bar. In the bottom left corner, you will see these two numbers. The first number is the latest solid subtangle milestone index. And the second number is the latest milestone index. The wallet gets this information from the node it is connected to. If you query a node with the get node info API call, it will return a JSON object similar to the following. You will see this information and this information. You will see the latest milestone, the latest milestone index, the latest solid subtangle milestone, and the latest solid subtangle milestone index. The latest milestone is created by the coordinator. The latest milestone value is the latest transaction hash the node received from the coordinator. In this example, this is the latest milestone. This is the index of the latest milestone. When the coordinator creates milestone, each milestone references a subtangle of coordinator approved transactions, as we have discussed earlier. This is called a subtangle of coordinator approved transactions. For a node, this milestone becomes solid if the node has all the approved transactions that are directly or indirectly referenced by this subtangle. If some of these approved transactions are missing, the milestone is not solid and the node is not synced. The latest solid subtangle milestone is used to send transactions. If an outdated solid milestone is used, the transaction might not be approved. The latest solid subtangle milestone index is the index of the latest solid subtangle milestone. A full node is synchronized with the tangle if the following conditions are met. The latest milestone index is updated to the actual last milestone index validated by the coordinator, and the latest solid subtangle milestone index is the same as the latest milestone index. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.